So, over the weekend, it felt like a whole flurry of pictures. Actually, my skin is itching because of sunburn. Or pictures and of flipping and videos of our guy Hunter Biden was all over the flipping social media, right? All over social media. And I'm obviously not going to share any of the images here on my flipping podcast because I'll probably end up getting a fucking strike on my channel and shit. But I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. And if you haven't, essentially, um, it looks like... I don't know if this is the same laptop or computer or whatever that Hunter Biden left all this incriminating stuff on. But it feels like it's a never-ending stream of stuff, right? It never stops coming. So for some reason, a random set of stuff came out and essentially what it pictures, I think there was one really weird one where it looks like he's sitting in a sauna or like a pool room or like something, right? Which is with weird, like, um, what do you call it? Blue lights. Is it blue lights? Or like the things in belly? And he's sitting in there clearly high off something, having a drink, having a white claw, I think, and just staring at the camera, looking at himself. And then there's another couple of videos where he is, it looks like with some sort of female company, whether he paid for it or not, we don't know. But he's essentially talking about crack and whatnot. And I think one of them is arguing with a girl about how much crack he's bought and putting it on a scale and seeing how much it is and just recording every bit of it he's doing. And it's just interesting because for me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a self, I'm a self-proclaimed party boy, right? I've I've been known to get a little bit buck wild when it comes to me going out and getting on it and stuff, whatever it may be. But I've never in my wildest dreams had an inclination to live stream myself getting on it, to live to video record myself, even if it's clips just for my own consumption, to video record myself like doing stuff. It just wasn't something that ever crossed my mind because you're so sort of like lost in the moment, no pun intended. And you're sort of kind of just, you know, just focused on whatever you're doing at the time that you're doing it, that you're not really thinking about recording anything. And of course, it's pretty much, you know, the most incriminating thing you could do to yourself. Like, why would you censor yourself in such a way? It just doesn't make any sense. But again, not something that ever crossed my mind. And I think the most, the worst stuff you've probably done, or especially in my opinion, or what I've maybe done, is maybe taking maybe too many selfies, right, in toilets and whatnot. And then you look back at them the next day and you just cringe because you know clearly you were off your face when you were taking those selfies. But it's never been videos. It's never been that deep. So whenever I see these clips of Hunter Biden clearly enjoying himself with these videos and stuff of his female company and just off his face, it makes me wonder, is crack that yummy? Because again, I've never had crack, never tried it, never will try it. But is crack that yummy and that good of an experience that it just leads you inclination wise or it just makes you inclined to go out there and just record yourself and have video evidence of some of your best crack nights is that what it actually does to you because it might explain a lot of reasons why you know especially in place where i live in you know in a really fucked up place in a really kind of rough area of east london you will see like teams and scores of kind of these crackhead zombie guys and girls walking around everywhere pacing it right they're proper legging it pacing it from spot to spot looking maybe for the next fix or whatever it may be they're gonna go do and for the most part it looks like they're having the weather of the time from the outside right they look like they're all together they're hanging around they're going for a walk they're keeping themselves fit but it is a very ADHD sort of like restless fidgety kind of drug so maybe um, one action of being fidgety and not being able to kind of just chill and relax you in your high is maybe the inclination to wash some plates organize your room or whatnot some people do that when they get high or maybe just record yourself uh, and have all this video evidence but I also heard people say online that maybe because Hunter Biden comes from such privilege and he essentially has been handed the lottery ticket in terms of who his dad is, in terms of the privileges he's been afforded growing up, in terms of how easy it's been for him to basically have all the money in the world to do whatever he wants and to kind of, you know, fly under the radar for the most part because he was the second brother if I'm not if I'm not if I'm not um mistaken, the younger brother. Um and obviously the older brother much was kind of bestowed upon him who unfortunately ended up passing away. But he essentially had the second brother brother thing where you could essentially just kind of get away with stuff in the shadows because you're old brother usually got most of the sort of like blame for things which i end up getting same sort of thing so maybe because of all those privileges and all those kind of advantages been afforded in life he's doing this sort of weird thing where his reaction to it is to kind of self-sabotage himself in the hope of maybe bringing him down to sort of quote-unquote reality that's how i think someone hypothesized the other day i heard someone really, i think oh that might be an interesting reason why that might be a case because i really can't for any reason, figure out why anybody who's doing any sort of like class A substances 
on a consistent basis right why you would want to record yourself to that level of an extent it doesn't make any sense like i know for me personally the most i've kind of done is gone on like really kind of dark 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 um discord groups where you essentially get online with people and you know you're high off your mind and you can kind of just hang out and talk to people online chat or go on like a video chat and stuff and hang around with randoms from around the world most of the people on there are people you probably would never speak to in real life and they're not the most coolest people in the world but when you're high and you're kind of just chatty and just restless and shit it's nice to just have someone to kind of talk to or just listen to it in the background to kind of keep you company you know some people do that before they go to sleep they'll just put in a youtube video and have it just playing so they can just have something kind of in the background to kind of keep them occupied or to feel like they're not alone in the room but that's the most of it that's the most but to kind of sit at home with my phone and record myself having a session or whatnot just feels weird it just feels strange and again it's not it would never be the first thing that i would kind of go to there'll be many many things i'll do prior to then go to just straight to that thing but again maybe it's just a the, one of the weird curses and one of the kind of double-edged swords of being very privileged and being somebody that's been afforded all the luxuries in life that sometimes you just never feel comfortable in your own skin and you always feel like you don't deserve what you what's been kind of given to you or what the, you know the gift that you've been kind of given in terms of your upbringing and shit which i've never really understood i think i've said this to many of my friends who are kind of you know from wealthy families or have a a parent who worked really hard and busted their ass for them a really good life that's a gift that's a privilege right that's something a lot of people don't get because most people in the world aren't rich and don't have a lot of money so the fact that you've got parents who are able to kind of afford you you know have the ability to maybe help you put some money down the house or maybe help you to buy a car or buy the car for you or just get you out of jams if you've got you've been you know in a weird financial position that's a great thing and should be celebrated because on the flip side i think people who come from rough backgrounds and rough upbringings also over fetishize and over embellish and really kind of gas up and put way too much spice on their origin stories about getting it from the mud and i didn't have anything and no one believed it's all a bit you know you kind of big it up and make it more than it is so you can make it way more of a compelling story but i feel like there's a balance to be had in terms of not kind of you know going out of your way to just be a brat and really not kind of take not really be um appreciative of your family's wealth and there's also the other side of things of also not kind of ascribing your success to every bad thing that happened to you in life because that's not also you know the truth about it because sometimes you make it when you're just you know sometimes you, sometimes you make it despite being rich sometimes you make it because you're rich you know what i mean it's not really there's no exact science to it but the hunter biden thing fascinates me it really does and if anybody out there has any thoughts and opinions as to why somebody that does that much crack would be obsessed with taking pictures of themselves documenting it to this extent and everything that makes it weird too you would imagine if somebody was really obsessed with recording themselves doing drugs or having sex with people whatever it may be just recording video evidence of themselves or taking pictures of themselves you would imagine that person would be a lot more tech savvy right would be a lot more aware of their data a lot more sensitive about the information whatever it may be right there would be someone that's be somewhat paranoid about all that kind of stuff to the point where they wouldn't just put their laptop in a repair shop and forget i mean they'd be a lot more careful about how they do things it maybe it'd be an external drive it would all be an encrypted something like just something knows that because they know how you know how um how kind of uh, dangerous that material may be or evidence will be in the wrong hands but for some reason it doesn't seem to happen to hunter biden it really hasn't and it seems that there's been a weird media blackout around it too people aren't really talking about it too much and you think to yourself like especially in the u.s if this happened this would have happened to one of fucking donald trump's sons like and he wasn't you know in this sort of you know mess just imagine the headlines in the news but you know whatever i'm not gonna get into that because i'm just not a political podcast but anyway we continue 